So I'm here at Computex to show you something amazing. This is a SUS screen pad, a secondary screen right on your touchpad. Now this is the ASUS ZenBook Pro 15, which looks like an ordinary notebook until you get down into the touchpad. Intel talked to me a little bit before the show about devices with two screens, but this is something amazing. Now you're probably familiar with the MacBook Touch Bar, which sacrifices part of the keyboard to put sort of an LCD screen up in the function keys. This actually puts it down right where you can use it most, below your keys, where you can use it as both a secondary display as well as sort of a control panel with shortcuts. Now, <clears throat> what we have here is we have sort of this secondary dis display panel here. We have the F6 key, and the F6 key does a couple of things. You can ignore the traditional touchpad mode. You can ignore the touchpad as disabled. <clears throat> what we have here is screen pad mode as well as, oops, the extension display. Now, when in basic mode, <coughs> sometimes you'll see sort of a generic image here. Uh, but really, what this, what this is actually being used for is to show it as a secondary screen. And what we have here, of course, is a YouTube video playing, but we also have some integration with traditional apps. So, for example, ASUS showed us a way that it, this can be used with Microsoft Office. Uh, with PowerPoint, for example. And one of the things that a secondary touchpad allows you, or secondary display allows you to do, is it allows you to make fine-grained adjustments very easily. For example, say, for example, you wanted to adjust the line width of a particular type of stencil, or uh, adjust the color, for example, on a, uh, <coughs> on, a, on, a, on a PowerPoint presentation or a drawing. This would allow you to slide everything back and forth and do that very easily. But again, uh, we work better with two displays too, and so we can use this as a secondary display for, for YouTube, for a game, for a Microsoft Edge window, any number of applications. Now this is the pro version of the ZenBook. So this actually has a few potential uh, advantages uh, to talk about as well. Um, it's a 4K display, uh, the keyboard looks great. Uh, we've got Harman Kardon, uh, looks like a fingerprint reader as well. Uh, the ports are pretty standard, headphone jack, S micro SD card, USB th uh, 3.0, um, one on the side. Uh, we also have HDMI and a couple of USB-C ports for uh, external docking and expansion. Again, sort of straddling the difference between USB-C and USB-A. Wonderful uh, hybrid of both. Um, but, you know, again, since this is a pro version, we're going to see uh, great, thing, great features like uh, Core i9, 6 core, 8th gen parts, NVIDIA, GeForce, GTX, 1050 Ti graphics, and so on. So again, all the performance under the hood to match the uh, features on top as well. So this clearly is one of the most fascinating devices we've seen at Computex, and you'll get it soon. ASUS tells us that we'll have it around mid-July for $2,299, so look forward to a review soon.